Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Unseen Carnage. A game that I had no idea existed until I saw one of the comments where a user called P simply said, I really like this video, can you try playing Unseen Carnage? So I dropped everything to get this installed because whatever P wants, P gets. Now this is a game, apparently there's been a hurricane and we're going to be trying to get rid of potential looters, I guess. Start cleaning? Don't know why we're cleaning. What are we cleaning? We'll find out. In June the 1st, 2007, Sultanate of Omen, there was a hurricane called Juno. This hurricane was so destructive that disasters of the hurricane continued until 2008. One of the simplest examples of this disaster was a power outage every 12 days. Some people took advantage of the power cut in the first days to steal, and whoever confronts the criminal will get killed. Now it's 2008, and you're trying to survive. So, okay, we've begun. Are we in a bunker or something? Are we in some underground... Okay. Is this... Is this our... Is this our level here? Looked like I was just going into the black void. Okay. Oh, the walls are closing in. Okay. Do I try to get to the end? No. No, I do not. Ah. It was all a dream. I slept while reading. Why was that dream? Well, let me finish this page. Then I'll take it up. Well, nice. We have some voiceover work. I like it. Okay. So we're in our little little house. Oh. And now plunged into darkness. Is this due to the hurricane? Am I Oh, okay. So Thank God the emergency light worked. Now we need to fix the electricity outside. Okay. Some flies around. Is this? Oh my man! Oh my man! You gotta clean up after yourself. Don't be leaving doodos on the floor. Come on! Right. The electricity outside. I'm guessing. And I can't interact with. Wow! I just threw that door open. I busted that door down like it was nothing. Here we go. Yay! So. Is this my neighborhood? And I'm hungry, I guess. I'm hungry. Let me just open the pot and grab something from the fridge to cook. Okay. So, it's not hurricane weather now, is that right? Where are we living? What is this place? Like this little hut. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have an, a door. And look at this. Look at, look at this. Why would you have this open space here? I feel like I'm in a cubicle at some Weatherspoons pub. People don't trust you to be in the toilet in a cubicle on your own because they'll look over the, the side there and go, Hey! Hey, what are you doing in there, huh? Anyway, right, I'm hungry. Um, I'll just open the pot and grab something to... Oh, here's the pot. Okay. Uh, in the fridge. Right click to pick... Oh, we've got a selection here. Uh, let's get this meat. Oh, nice. What have we got here? Uh, just meat. All right, we'll put you in. Okay, put the whole thing in. Oh, there we go. Oh, got a countdown for the cooking. All right. It's a random little kind of cabin, I guess. Our protagonist seems to be British. Oh, there's a note here as well. Hi, Dad. Me and my sister went to our grandparents' house. We will be back in three days. Bye, Dad. Is that... Am I saying that? Like there's plastic in here. I should turn on the suction fan. Yeah, it sounds like... Because you threw the whole thing in. Is this the suction fan? Is this the thing here? Okay. Good times. I mean, you just... Listen. I'm getting the feeling this is a teenager who doesn't know how to cook for himself. But basic common sense would tell you to take the food out of the plastic packaging before throwing it in the pot. That's all I'm saying. And I, I think this... Is this air conditioning unit going to have something to do with things? Because it looks like there's an airstream flow going... Oh, do we need to open the window? No? Uh, okay. The suction fan keeps breaking. I need to go outside and get some fresh air while the food cools down. 
Okay, and there's a timer at the top right as well. Um, there is apparently six endings to this game. Four are bad. One. Oh, you sneaky little bitch. You sneaky little... I see you. I see you trying to loot my house after the hurricane. I'm not going there. Do we have a flashlight? We don't have a flashlight. Okay. This is why you need to get a door here. Then you have your electrical system, and then you have another door, an inside door. Oh, we're closing you. I mean, come on, man. Just clean up the poop. Is the toilet blocked? What is going on? We haven't checked down here yet. What's in here? Oh, I just like the way we're like Duke Nukem and kicking the door open. Do we have anything here that we can see? No. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. The electricity's gone again. Twice a day. Oh, this is not normal. Mm, the food's still kicking. What is E? Shut up. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no. Right. Okay, so we just fix this again, right? There we go. I wonder what's going on out there. Well, you just saw a man running away from you. Um... Yeah. And now the... Is the air coming this way? Okay, the vents. Oh, because that broke down. I see. I understand. Okay, well, we've got our, our food's cooked, right? Cooking. Cooling. Oh, it's cooling down. All right. Okay. Everything seems to be okay. Can we turn on the TV? Can we watch anything? No, we can't. Is that blood on the floor? Have I killed my parents? Is this what's happened? Am I meant to take this now? Okay. To watch TV while eating my food. No? Down on the TV here? That was the bedside lamp. Oh, I sit down. I see. Okay. Alright. Let me turn on the TV. The remote on my right. Okay. Or broken. You're not concerned that the TV was just flashing green images at you? Okay. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. I don't like drinking soup. I should get up. Don't like drinking soup? What's wrong with you, my man? Drink the soup. Why am I? Hello. Apparently, drinking the soup was bad. You died because you drank the melted plastic in the soup, which caused you suffocation and poisoning. <laughs> okay. That was a bad ending. That was one of the bad endings. Um, right? But surely the whole food in itself would have been bad with the plastic inside. Why am I eating the meatballs with plastic melted onto it, but the soup is the... Okay, you know what? Game logic. Oh, and it's just quit me out of the thing, so I have to actually go back in. Okay, we're going to do this. All right, okay. Okay. So on our second playthrough attempt, what I'm going to do now, because there was a countdown that came up, I'm just going to see if by not cooking the food or having the fan not work, is that going to be a game over for me as well? I'm thinking it might be, but uh, let's just see. It smells like burnt plastic in here. I should turn on the suction fan. So yeah, the first time I turned up here, and there's like a kind of... It's very, it's very slight. You might not be able to, but there was like a heartbeat sort of thing going on as well. So I'm thinking if we don't turn this off in time, that's going to be another bad ending. But um, this should, surely should be commonplace not to throw your meat in with the cling film and the plastic in it. I mean, I can understand some people doing that in the microwave. Oh, you can use your microwave. But yeah, this is going to be a game over here as well. Okay, so there you go, guys. Always uh, no to <laughs> burnt plastic, which caused you breathing problems. So that's the first ending. That's the first bad ending. <laughs> uh, I quite like this. I like, um, it's actually giving you life tips, you know?
Okay, so third time now. Uh, we're going to turn on the extraction fan. We're not going to suffocate because of the plastic... <laughs> suffocations? Uh, uh, yeah, but the microwave... Oh. We can explode the microwave somehow. We use the knives. It smells like burnt plastic in here. I should turn on the suction fan. Don't even need a timer this time. I'm getting the lay of the land now. I know what's happening. So, I do like the interactivity. I do like the the, the endings that are coming up now. Like, basically suffocating. <laughs> I wish we could clean this up. This is, this is distressing me. This is really distressing me. The... And you just have, like, a little cloth thing here. You're going to be able to smell that inside the whole room, my friend. And then you have, of all things, a grandfather clock. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. The fan keeps breaking. I need to go outside and get some fresh air while the food cools down. So then we're going to see... Okay, yeah. We've got the... T oh, so let's do... Yeah, let's do the ending as well. That There's going to be another ending, right? Because the time is up there. We have to try all the endings. We have to try and get them all. We're not going to go outside to get fresh air. This has got to be another ending, right? Yeah, he's dying. He's keeling over. That damn burnt plastic. It keeps on getting us. <laughs> you died from burnt plastic, which caused you breathing problems. Yeah. So that's the second ending. Uh, what was the first one? Can't remember. We'll come back into that. Okay, so this is the fourth one. I'm wondering now if I'm so hungry that I'm just going to die from hunger. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to actually explore the town a little bit. It doesn't look like there's much of a town here. It just looks like there's my car. This looks like some kind of cabin. Um, and I don't have a flashlight. It looks really dark. But there are lights over here. Let's just see how far I can get without... I'm thinking I'm going to kill over um, from the, the hunger. There seems to be lights coming down here as well. So I wonder how far I can get. Can I go this way? Let's, let's try going through the woods. Oh. Oh, it's the looter guy. So it's not a red screen. You got killed. You went to him. Fifth, five or six endings. Okay. And I'm still... You can still hear my, my belly grumbling. Didn't get that meat. Oh, that's the secret ending. Okay. So we've got the secret... <laughs> <laughs> we got the secret ending without really... I thought, okay, I thought that the hunger would kill us. Obviously not, though. Okay, so this time, we're not going to eat the soup. And therefore, we will be in unknown territory. Because so far, I've been suffocated by burning plastic. I've been suffocated again by burning plastic. Um, I inadvertently ran outside thinking I was going to die of hunger. And the looter killer guy got me. So... I think that's pretty much... I think we've got two endings left. I think we've got another bad ending, and then we've got the good ending. So, let's just eat that. Be very careful. I don't like drinking soup. No. Should we should get up. So how do we get up? Oh, F. So we're leaving the soup behind. We're not going to be drinking the rancid plastic, even though I should probably be dead anyway. Let me turn the light back on and grab the mop and clean the coffee spot. This light? No, oh, the bedside light. Okay, yeah, I got you. I understand. Right. Oh, that's not a blood stain then. This is the mop. We're cleaning, cleaning the floor. Can we clean the toilet as well? God damn it. I'm gonna take a huge dump. I eat very well. Uh, how are you gonna take a dump in here, man? It's clogged up, my friend. Uh oh. What is that? What is this now? That's the radio. Ha! It's a serial killer alert. I need to close the lights and stay as calm as possible? Close... How do you... How does one close a light? Do, would I turn off the lights? Perhaps. I okay. I wait for the killer to get out the neighborhood. I think if he wants to come in, he will. Okay, so we gotta go... This is gonna be the last bad ending, right? We're gonna turn on light. Come and come and get me. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Hello. Hello, neighbor. How are you? <laughs> the 
Look at those eyeballs bulging out of his head. You got killed. He saw the lights. Ah. Right, so I'm thinking now that's all the bad endings. So all I have to do is not eat the pla not eat the soup with the plastic in it, which is ridiculous in on itself. Turn off the lights, and then hopefully we should get there. I should wait for the killer to get out the neighborhood. Okay, so we're back, and uh, we're not going to turn the lights on this time. We're just going to wait. We're going <laughs> to we're going to wait for the killer, the looter. The guy with the boggly eyes. We're gonna wait for- Oh, you're not getting me that easy. No, 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 my friend. What- where's the doorbell? What doorbell is he ringing from? He, he just ran up last time, so I'm not entirely sure why he doesn't just run up this time to this door here. Where he can peek over the edge and see me. Let me turn the lights back on. Oh, do we need to- okay. Okay, lights back on. I've gone up twice in one day. I think I need to go see why. Because of the hurricane, maybe? Just in case. You, you had a gun the whole time? Where's your gun? I was looking everywhere in the, in the other playthrough. Is it in the, where is the gun? Oh, it was on the sofa. It was on the... You, yeah, you just, you just leave your gun on the couch. Why not? Now we've got a gun. Let's have a look at the electricity source in the neighborhood. Um... I mean, I know we do have a gun. But... Would you really? Would you? I mean, would you really? So the fuse box is all right. So it's actually an electrical source. I believe that's on the right side. Up here. Oh. Do we have? It doesn't seem. Hey. If you're out here, killer, I've got a gun now. I'm not messing around. I shoot into darkness. I am vengeance. No? Okay. I love the fact that we have unlimited uh, ammo. That's 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 good to know. Alright, is this is this the thing? There's nothing here. Why am I doing this? I'm really tired. I need to go to sleep. You're really tired and you need to sleep. There is a killer out there, my friend. I know you have a gun. I'm not quite liking this now. I'm not quite liking this. So we know we go off down that way, he'll just run and get us. So okay, let's um let's head back. Wow. Wowzers. Oh! I think I clipped him. How is he in- hang on, hang on, how is he in the house? I closed the door. Oh man, oh man. Alright, okay. You ready? Yeah! He's not there, he's not there. He's gone out the window. He probably escaped. I need to lock the doors and the main window before sleeping. How about- There's another gun. I had two guns in the house and he didn't take one. All right, okay. Um, all right, this, oh, actually. Oh, that's locked, so that door's locked now. Okay, and then the front door. That's locked. And then the window, he said, right? Hey, 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 we're all good. How would you how would you go to sleep knowing that someone was inside your house and had jumped out the window? Gun or no gun? Yeehaw, motherfucker. Yeehaw. Right, so what, I'm just going to sleep now? Is that what we're saying? No way. No way. I suppose right, okay, there's another ending, isn't there? The ending is that I don't lock all the doors. So I'm gonna have to get that one. All right, let's uh, let's unlock this door and go to sleep and see what happens. Oh, can I not go to sleep with? I have to lock all the doors. Okay.
now I can sleep peacefully in my slumber and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Hey, it's a green screen. That always means good, right? You made it alive. You didn't open the light, even though I don't know how you open a light when he was outside and you didn't drink the soup. And I didn't suffocate by the burning plastic. I think that was all the endings. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I think that's all the endings. What if I just left all the doors open? Would he just, would he just kill me in my sleep? Probably. I'm going to have to do it again, aren't I? Just to see. Just to get all the endings. For that completionist thing. I'm going to have to do that. God damn it. Have a look at the first part of episode two. Let's have a glimpse. Nine one one, what's your emergency? I saw a killer. He is in the same neighborhood as me. Please come. I'm so sc okay. Well, turns out I didn't have to do it again because the game crashed. Um, there doesn't seem to be, when you finish the game, it doesn't bring you back to the main menu. It just crash. it just goes right back to your desktop. Um, so that may be something to look into for the next episode. Well, there you go, guys. That was Unseen Carnage. Um, what was the Unseen Carnage? Was it the boggly-eyed man who was tearing around outside of the cabin shack in the woods? Who knows? I'm not entirely sure what the story was here. What I'm getting from it was like a PSA of like um, teenagers who don't know how to cook for themselves very well, basically throwing in packages of meat with the packaging still in into a pot, no less. Um, not even microwaving, just into a pot with the plastic, making that all that mmm, that souffle of meat and plastic. And I don't know how I was able to eat the meatballs without getting sick either. But apparently, if you ate the soup, you died. And if you didn't cool it down, you died. Um, there were there were lots that I actually like about this. It's it's quite. It's I I feel like this is a bit of an unfinished state in terms of there were certain things like you know there was meant to be a hurricane, but it wasn't raining outside. So am I to understand that because there was no rain outside, was that just a case of it was too much for the dev to put rain into the game? That would have probably made it a lot more tastier, you know, ramped up the tension a bit more. I did like the fact that there was like countdown segments to things and, you know, running around trying to get the the electricity working again. There was the only kind of time I felt real tension was when I had that, when I actually had the gun and I was going outside to actually uh, check the electrical system because that's the furthest I got at that point. Um, but whenever you have like multiple endings and whatnot, you want to try them out. I tried a few things. I thought the hunger thing was going to kill me at some point as well. So I was just basically waiting for a long time for the hunger to kill me. It didn't. Um, I tried running around the, the, the cabin in one of the playthroughs just to see if I could find the looter, boggly eyed man. I couldn't. I mean, there was a lamppost behind the door, but that was it really. Um, yeah. And, you know, things like the door opening. It just needs to be. You could have added a creak instead of like a Duke Nukem style kick to the to the door every time you opened it. Yeah, I I thought it was. Uh, I like the interactivity with certain things. I like the fact that you could die from not turning on the extractor fan. That was <laughs> that's my kind of humor. I like that. But anyway, that was Unseen Carnage, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like or dislike the video, and please sub if you haven't, because it means the world to me. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.